For more videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Make sure to tune in to our next video. DC Machine Design Part 10 Shunt Field Design Parameters HF is the height of field winding. DF is the depth of field winding. S is cooling surface of field winding. LMT is the length of mean turn. RF is the resistance. TF is the number of turns. IF is current in field winding. Delta is current density of field. QF is copper loss in each coil. SF is surface factor or copper space factor. Rho is resistivity and EF is voltage across each shunt field coil. L0 is length of outermost turn. LI is the length of innermost turn. LMT is the length of mean turn. Field design involves determination of cross-sectional area of pole, height of winding, depth of winding, number of turns required for winding etc. Design steps At first depth of winding is fixed according to armature diameter as per the table. Then calculate length of mean turn LMT using the equation below. Voltage across shunt field winding is 0.8 to 0.85 times of terminal voltage. Voltage across each shunt field coil EF is 0.8 to 0.85 times of terminal voltage by number of poles. Resistance of each field coil has two equations equating those we get the value of F. It is the area of cross section of field winding. Then calculate the winding height HF. It is the total height of pole minus height of pole shoe minus some clearance space. Taking total height of pole as HPL then height of pole shoe is 0.1 to 0.2 times of it and clearance space is 0.1 to 0.15 of tolerance. Next step is to calculate number of turns. To calculate it, we know total available area of field winding is HF into DF. It is for bare conductor. For insulated conductor multiply it with SF. SF is copper space factor. It is 0.8 into D by D1 all square. Where D is the diameter of bare conductor and D1 is the diameter of insulated conductor. There is another equation for total area. Area of cross section of one turn into total number of turns. Equate these two equations. Then we will get equation for number of turns. Then to calculate current we can divide DMF by resistance. To calculate current density divide current by F. It should lie between 1.2 to 2.5. Find the MMF. It is TF into IF. Then we can calculate I square R loss. Calculate the cooling surface and temperature rise. Next video explains the problem regarding field design.